Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. We're continuing to make improvements for our RV workspace, and I've got a new product to try out. Well, it's a new product for us. Have you seen these? This is the MoFi Network 3G 4G LTE router. Oh, this thing is cool. Hi, it's Jerry. Today I'm going to talk about a new improvement we're going to be making to our workspace, and that is going to be this new MoFi Networks 3G, 4G LTE modem. Let me briefly just go into why we're going to be making this change. We spend a lot of time on the road, uh, months on end, and this year we're planning on spend, extending that even more, and I have to take the business on the road. Can I use Wi-Fi that you find inside of a campground? Well, for me, the answer is definitely not. It depends on the type of business. If all you're doing is sending you know, basic emails, Word documents, that type of thing, a PDF, uh, that might be able to work for you. But for me, that will not work. I have to have a substantial amount of bandwidth because I'm doing web development, graphic work, and a lot of video editing, not just for I Love RV Life, but I do a good bit for clients as well. And as a result of that, I'm having to download raw files, I'm having to upload finished products, and they're very, very large. And I don't want to spend hours and hours on end waiting for something to finish downloading, to load YouTube, or to send it up to Dropbox, or a Google document, or something like that. So I need bandwidth. You've heard me speak about this before. Uh, we play a day, work a day, or work a morning, play an afternoon, those types of things. And what I don't want to do is just be tethered to the desk for hours on end waiting for files to make sure that they're going to upload or download. Time is money. Time is fun. So uh, I want to be able to have a good, reliable environment. So I have been using um, Wi-Fi wi for cellular for quite some time. Now, let me just briefly go into this. We have plans that we're currently using that are grandfathered. Um, and these plans don't exist anymore, but does that mean that you can't get good plans out there to be able to conduct business? The answer is absolutely yes, you can. Um, if you are a business and you have a federal tax ID for a reasonable price, now let me mention this to you from the date of this video, these are the plans that are available now. Um, Three days, three months, three years from now, if you're watching this video, these plans may not be available and something else may have you know, supplanted them. So at this stage, this is what we have. But again, there's a good AT&T plan out there that you can get 100, and gig 100 gigabits. Again, you have to be a business. You have to have a federal tax ID and you can get that for $85. And that AT&T plan is really, really nice. Um, and it does cap at 100 gigabit and the split speeds slow down, but 100 gigabits of data is a phenomenal amount of data. You could use that depending on your type of business, both for some entertainment as well as your business needs. Uh, T-Mobile has a fairly good plan that's out there that's about 50 bucks. You will, the T-Mobile service, you know, again, just like AT&T, will have some spots that it will not work well but in a lot of areas it will work well. And then Verizon has a number of plans and they just move all over the place. I think currently right now you can get a prepay for 30 gigabits on a hotspot. What's a hotspot? This is a, my old tried and true. I've been using this thing for five, six years now. Uh, this is a MiFi 6620L. Um, there's an 8800 that a lot of people are using now. I don't even know if you can buy these new anymore. You can buy them reconditioned. This thing's been a solid rock for me and was using it up into just a couple weeks ago before this uh, MoFi came in and I started testing it. So good a little hotspot. It does have its limitations. Uh, the upside uh, you can uh, connect up to 10 devices the, and it's battery operated so you can you know throw it on the dash of the car well you don't want it to get too hot but you can throw it inside the car and and go down the road with it and use it inside your you know truck or your car whatever you may have um, and then we use it in the RV as well here's the downside you notice there's no external antennas there is a diagnostic port on the side that you can hook up a 
antenna, but it really doesn't work that well. Um, the other thing is the Wi-Fi signal that comes out of this was really made for, you know, sitting down at your desk and having your device connect to it from that standpoint. So, you know, just the distance from here in our living space into, say, the bedroom, um, the quality of the Wi-Fi signal drops pretty quick. So I'd say within 10, 12 feet, it's pretty dead gum good, but after that, it really starts going down pretty, pretty bad. Now, why do we want to go up to another type of device? Uh, this is the box. I'm not going to do an unbox reveal here, but this is the uh, MoFi Networks. It's a 3G, 4G LTE router. It works on all bands reported. I've tried it with AT&T. I've tried it with Verizon SIM cards. Works like a champ. Understand from looking at reviews, it works well with T-Mobile. Um, and then there's other conversations about it working on other networks as well, hit or miss. Couple things that you need to understand. People talk about taking their phone SIM cards and putting inside these. May work, may not. Most of the time, it will not. If it comes up, it's only gonna work for a short period of time, sometimes. Again, it's kind of flaky. It's not what it's designed for. You're really designed to be using this with a traditional internet plan for a device something like this, but you don't have to order this. I took the SIM card out of this and just within seconds I was able to get the unit up and I'll show you how that works here in just a minute. So a couple things that I want to show you. This is up and going right now. I'm going to go ahead and look at the internet status and currently it's showing a signal of a negative 110 and a signal to noise ratio of a minus six. I'll state this about where we're parked right now. The cellular service here stinks. It's terrible. Um, so I am going to attempt to uh, make a connection with this. It's up and going. I think I've got, uh, if you really want to look at it, I think I've got a bar on this device right here. Then we'll get the MoFi going. What I will not be showing you today is hooking an external antenna up to that. Uh, I do have one on order for when we get into fringe, fringe areas. But now I just want these devices to stand alone. So let's look and see how this thing is going to work. Okay, before I get started, again, I am going to be using this uh, Jetpack, this 6620, just to show you the type of connection that I have here. You'll notice I'm using the old tried and true uh, speedtest.net. And um, I am, you can see I'm currently connected to Verizon here. And I am going to hit go, and we're going to see what kind of a speed test that we can get here. Uh, first thing that you'll notice is the... A uh, ping is pretty low and speeds are not that great. We'll let it go ahead and finish up here quickly. So we've got a download speed of 3.71 and interestingly enough about Verizon we've got an upload speed uh, hovering a little over 4. Let's see where this finishes up. We've got an upload speed of 5.2. So uh, that's actually from where we're sitting right now, that doesn't sound like that's very good. But uh, for the poor service we have here, uh, that's actually not too bad. Well, let's look at the MoFi Network device. Now, first of all, let me share this with you. I bought this. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased this myself. And um, I've been seeing and talking to other folks who have used it uh, with very, very good results. So I thought I would give this a try. Uh, it's not an inexpensive unit, but when I think you see the features that you get, if you want to have that higher class, uh, higher feature ability with both Wi-Fi and router, uh, and cellular connectivity, I think you'll see the benefits of this as we go forward. It comes in a box like this. Um, I've seen several things that was in the Amazon uh, comments that people raised an issue. Hey, the box had been opened up and was not in the uh, uh, original you know, factory um, 
wrappings or something like that. Well, here's what I found. Uh, this actually, ordering this off of Amazon, it came out of Canada, and there was all this paperwork that came with it. And one of the first things that was right up on top was, this is a brand new unit. We opened it up. We tested it. We made sure it had the latest firmware before we sent that to you. I thought that was a nice benefit. So uh, we did notice that when we checked it. It did have everything that was current. Um, and even though the box had been open and resealed, I couldn't tell that it had been used. It's, it's a brand new unit. The second thing they provide us with are these. Um, this is a, a Newsy or Nosy. It's um, different uh, adapters for you to be able to put your SIM card. This requires a full-size SIM card. Um, and there are uh, larger and smaller units that can go in here. I'm using a micro. Um, the, the SIM card adapter looks like that. You can see the little clear space uh, right there uh, where the SIM card goes in. Uh, and they provide you that as no additional cost. It comes with a, uh, a wall wart for a power supply. There is another power supply that you can buy that is uh, DC regulated, uh, which I think is very, very in interesting. We may go that route at a different time. We're gonna just kind of test it out like this for now. But uh, that way, if you do not have any AC power or you don't have uh, like an inverter or something like that and you're boondocking, uh, there is a regulated power supply that gives a constant 12 volts to this unit so you don't have to worry about spikes and things like that damaging it. It's a little pricey, but it's probably worth it if you're you know, a big boondocker uh, doing uh, and needing this type of service, okay? Now, looking at the unit, I'm not gonna do a big product unveil because this thing is pretty basic. Um, you'll notice here, uh, there's two types of antennas. These are your Wi-Fi antennas. And these paddles are your cellular antennas. These are This actually came with a kit, and I'll be providing a link for this kit uh, that you can buy. Um, these are called Ultra Wideband 4G LTE and LTE2 antennas. It's a higher gain paddle antenna. Um, and uh, I think some people, from the comments, I don't think they may have installed their antennas correctly because uh, these antennas are specific. Uh, one of these, and you'll not be able to see this in the video, but for the ones that go on front, and the directions are very, very clear on this, and if you put them in the wrong spot, uh, you'll either damage the MoFi unit or it just won't work because you've got the wrong frequencies on the antenna, so that's very, very important. Uh, on the back, uh, they show you, you know, where these are supposed to go. There's pictures with all the documentation, and it's honestly, when you get this thing out, it's seconds to be able to uh, install these antennas. Just put the right antennas in the right place. I know I went long on that, but that's very, very important. Second thing is there is a slot here for the uh, SIM card. And again, you have to use the adapter for that. So let me go ahead and put that in. Just so you can see, I'm using the, you know, the same plan for my Verizon. I'm going to take the 66L and take it apart, get the battery out of it, and I'm going to pull the SIM card out here. These things are teeny. And you can just see how small that SIM card is. It's a little bitty. And then I'm going to put it in the adapter. It only goes one way. And it kind of snaps inside that adapter like so. And it will only go in here one way. There's actually a picture on the back here of how it goes. This actually has a cutout on it. And it snaps in like... Like so. And we're going to hook power up to it, and we're going to get ready to go here. Okay, so I've got the uh, MoFi connected. Uh, you'll see, I don't know if it shows up in the video, there's some little green lights showing, you know, power, um, cellular connectivity, and uh, Wi-Fi, whether it's, you know, Wi-Fi is working, and it is. We'll put this in about the same spot that I had that 6620L hotspot. Uh, one of the things that uh, I'm using today is the laptop just to kind of keep it a little bit quieter. So uh, let's go ahead and run a test here and see what's going to happen. Okay, I've logged into the network. 
Uh, this is the MoFi 4500. You see that here, and I'm uh, logged into the internal modem section. Looking at signal strength, I've got 64%. Uh, That's, uh, gosh, substantially better. Uh, again, this is just with internal antennas, that little paddle uh, over what I had with a little hot spot, which I think is running, you know, like 1, 10, 11, 12, something like that, 110, 112 negative. So uh, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's, um, let's see what we can do here as far as getting a speed test and see if this is any better as well. This is now in the MoFi 4500. Uh, ping speeds are not fantastic, but the download speeds are really great. Uh, I can live with that. That's a substantial improvement over using just that little uh, 6620L hotspot. That's pretty dead gum good. I'm pretty pleased with that. And then upload speeds are a little bit better. That's not terrible. Uh, I can live with that, or you know, a little over five here. It's getting better, getting close to six. Oh yeah, yeah, we can live with that. We can actually work with that. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. So again, this is just using uh, the device as it is. You know, nothing fancy here. Just uh, just plugged it in, turned it on, uh, checked the signal status, and um, set it here on the desk. That's pretty awesome. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. This uh, device, this MoFi device, is uh, really an advanced tool. It's got a lot of features that you can use that are just basic, automatic, you can plug in, make it work. Um, for those of us who work out on the road uh, for extended periods of time, need bandwidth, need additional features, need things like direct connections to our PCs, those types of things, um, this device is really, really beneficial. I look forward to hooking up an external antenna. I got that thing ordered. Uh, we'll see if we can get even some better speeds while we're in this terrible internet connection, cellular connection area. It's just terrible. Um, but uh, maybe we can get some better speeds and then I'll uh, uh, add that to the video at a later date. Uh, if you're just the casual traveler, you know, just getting something like this that I was showing you earlier, you know, you just turn it on, it works. Um, it has its limitations, but it also has its benefits. Simplicity is one of those benefits. And again, this MoFi device uh, can be simple as well. And if you need the advanced features by going into the menu and, you know, doing things like uh, searching for uh, different channels for different cell towers and those types of things to improve it, uh, or just having, um, you know, just the ability to hook up multiple devices is another big benefit as well. Um, so it does have its benefits as well. And I'm excited about having that and adding that to our arsenal of business tools while we're uh, nomadic and <laughs> on the road and doing something like that. Well, these types of projects for me are fun. Uh, I enjoy doing those. I enjoy sharing them with you as well. I hope you found this beneficial. And um, if you did, give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Uh, because I love doing this. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I love RV life too.